is a way to save a life. In fact, in many cases, it's a way to save many lives. Um, I think there's as many as 50 different opportunities to donate associated with this. And uh, my wife is a donor, I'm a donor. I'm pretty sure my kids are as well. Um, from our point of view, this is um, simply the right and best thing to do. And I would certainly urge everybody, when they renew their license or even some other time, um, to consider making this part of the way they think about their role as part of our larger community. And I just want you to know that I really appreciate the fact that you chose to permit someone that you loved, that you signed up for life, to make a life with, to answer the call on behalf of this country. And I'm so sorry that they're not here to grow old and gray with you. But as long as I'm governor, we'll do everything we can to make sure we never forget and that we honor your sacrifice and theirs. I just want to say how much I appreciate Granite, how much I appreciate Rob's leadership on this, and how much I appreciate all the bald heads that I see as I look around here today. And with organizations like yours, and the good people at a place like this, we will continue to beat cancer year after year after year. Thank you very much. Bruce was passionate. He was a change agent. He was a civil rights leader. When you go by this building, think about civil rights, because it's about civil rights. It's about fighting for you. And that's what he did. And that's what we will continue to do. Now Joyce, this is, a, this is a proclamation which proclaims today as Bruce Carlton Bowling Day in the Commonwealth Mass. I believe in service. I believe in civic engagement. I think it's what makes communities great. It's what makes organizations strong. And I think it's part of what creates a legacy and a tradition that survives over the course of such a long period of time. Finally, the panel's findings make clear, at least to me, that the T's current way of doing business needs to be remade before it makes sense to invest significant sums of outside new money into its operation. Again, I really want to thank the advisory panel for doing an outstanding job in a very short time. And I look forward to working with the legislature, the folks at the T, and the public to turn these very necessary reforms into reality. Through it, but I view regulatory reform as sort of the way I think about cleaning your basement. It's one of those things you should do every few years whether you want to or not. <laughs> and, uh, and I think in this particular case there's tremendous opportunity for us to simplify the way we relate to, um, to all businesses, and not just businesses, but to municipalities, to colleges and universities, to healthcare organizations. Um, there's a lot of complexity in the way the Commonwealth of Mass chooses to do business, and we need to simplify that.